This video will guide you through the step by steps of setting up product settings in Bookable. Your product settings are the tools that you can use to adjust your product information and how it is displayed for your customers and your team and how this individual product interacts with your store's availability settings. The first thing you can set up on this page is the product name, as you have probably already created variations of this product, as well as individual product identifier codes or barcodes for your stock items. You can think of this name as the product model or type, like Vintage Oak Wedding Dining Table. Bookable will automatically create a product SKU or stock keeping unit, which is the next general information field here. This acts as a general product code for this product, which your stock items will then use as a base for their own product identifier codes. You can adjust these codes on this page or the base code on the settings page here. And you can adjust that to a clearer, more simplified general product code for your staff to read easily when assigning products to an order. Next is this product's description on documents. This is a description of the product that will appear on your invoices, contracts, quotes or packing slips uh, for your customers or team to read. If you don't wish to include one, you can leave this blank. If you do, a simple sentence regarding your product model, dimensions and size is a great place to start. Now, if you need to add any more fields to this general product settings section to record other information for your team to read, such as product dimensions, a purchase price, or a log of product maintenance, for example, you can do so through custom fields. I'm going to save what I've done so far and go to my account settings and click custom fields. Here under product information, I can add as many product fields as I like. Click add new product field and start filling in the information. You can start with the name, I will choose just price, and the custom field variable will automatically generate. This is a small line of code that you can place in your bookable email templates so that the purchase price will be included in your customer facing emails. This is of course optional, you have to place it in there manually, so don't worry about it now if you don't need it. And you can adjust this code to make this process easier when creating new email templates. Now you can choose the data type. So single line text is best for me as it's just a simple number that I need to add. Multi-line text is really useful for recording a continuous logging of information. And a drop down menu is really helpful as well to add multiple answers that your team can choose from and restrict them to those answers. So for example, if you want to have a custom field for the product supplier, and you've only got two product suppliers that you work for, those are the only two answers your team can choose when filling out this custom field. The last setting for saving a new product field is to choose which documents you wish this to be displayed on. So for my purchase price, I don't want it displayed on the quotes, the contracts or the invoices, as these are the documents that my customers can see. However, the packing slip, only my team can see. The packing slip, if you don't already know, is a document that is shared and generated with your team for all orders. Um, they can be handed over to warehouse staff to assist with for the fulfillment of orders, or they can be handed over to delivery drivers to use for the packages of orders. I do want my purchase price to be seen by my team, so I'm going to enable it to be displayed on the packing slip. And if this was a new custom uh, product field, I would hit save. But as I have already created this uh, field here previously, I can go back into my inventory, click into the product, click into the product settings and see that this custom field has been saved under the general information field and I can fill out its information now and hit save. Now for adding product images you have two options. The first is to upload your own images and the next is to use the connection that Bookable has with Google Images to search a product name and browse the images that you can use for this product on the online store. I will have my own product image uploaded and these images will be displayed on my online store in this product's unique product card within the catalogue and it can be also included on other documents like the invoice, the contract and the quote. If you don't want these images to appear on your documents, go to your settings, hit the documents, Hit the contract, the invoice or the quote template you wish. 
and click off for the setting to show product images on the contract. And you can repeat this with the other two templates. Now on to your product settings for the availability settings. Now, the first way you can adjust this product's availability is by allowing shortage. If you are a rental business that knows that they can quickly sublet or purchase extra stock if they receive a high number of reservations, this setting is for you. If you have a limited amount of items in your stock, for example, I have three items, but I want to allow extra reservations that I can accept uh, because I don't want to turn customers away. I know that I can quickly sublet two more items of this product if required. So I will go into my settings, allow shortage, and allow for two more orders of this product. Just that here. So that I don't have to turn those extra orders away and I can sublet those when required. And in your orders page, the orders for shortages will appear here and also in the with shortage panel. Now back in your product settings, you will find the last tool here, which is padding time. This allows you to set the buffer time to prevent back-to-back -back orders by making this product temporarily available before or after an order. So this means that this product is unavailable, for example, two hours, and you can choose between minutes, hours, or days, after each order to allow for me to clean it, inspect it, and repackage it for the next customer. This can also help with delivery delays and installation time. And that's a wrap. You have now successfully set up this product's individual settings to make running a rental business even easier with Bookable.